internet, and welcome once again to Insane Ian Finds Things That People Shouldn't Ingest. I don't know what that says about me. Anyway, this week is kind of a cool week. I went to World Market to check out some things. A friend of mine had told me about Cheerwine, my friend Lee, and uh, unfortunately, uh, didn't have the Cheerwine that he mentioned to me. He said Cheerwine had a special Krispy Kreme flavor. Uh, they didn't have it there. However, they did have Cheerwine, which I've never had before despite living in Maryland. Uh, but I managed to find a bunch of other sodas there as well. They had a deal where you could buy your own six-pack, mix and match any of their sodas that they had into a six-pack of your own. The other cool thing was all the sodas were buy one, get one free, which was really cool and really nice because uh, Cook County in Chicago recently instituted a beverage tax so for every ounce of sugared beverage or sweet beverage that you get mostly sodas there is a one cent tax per ounce so each of these had a 12 cent tax thanks Cook County but anyway I have a bunch of different sodas to try and I'm going to try them all now and you're going to watch and it'll be fun, maybe. I don't know what I'm doing with this show, really. It's me rotting my teeth out of my head for your entertainment and me being spastic and waving my arms around because I'm a living cartoon or something. We're gonna try the cheer wine first. The soft drink legend since uh, 1917. Uh, real cane sugar, wild cherry, and other natural flavors doesn't tell you anything else other than that. Let's get on it. Ha ha ha. Bottle cap time. Cheer wine. Now, I have to admit that I got these uh, a couple weeks ago, honestly. Uh, I went out and I bought them, and then I had no time to film. Uh, so they've been sitting in my fridge for about two weeks. Uh, but I don't think there's a sell-by date on any of these sodas. They can last especially if they're chilled, so this should be good. If not, I'll hear it in the comments, I'm sure. Anyway, kind of a cherry scent. I, uh, I dig that. I like cherry-flavored drinks. But let's, uh, let's give a try to cheer wine. That's super sweet. It's a, that's a cherry soda. That's basically all that is. It's really nice. The real cane sugar is a nice kick, so that'll be a, a nice buzz to keep me going. I don't drink alcohol. I I do a lot of sodas and clearly I have a, a problem. These videos are a cry for help. Or I'm just bored. But that's not bad. I dig that. There's delicious Big Red. Also with real sugar. Um, because, uh, I'm gonna die. All my teeth are gonna fall out of my damn head. And you're gonna watch. And you're, you're gonna slowly watch the collapse of a man who's rotted himself away with carbonated and sugary beverages. Because America. Ha ha ha! So, this is carbonated water, sugar, and colors, and caffeine, and stuff, and things, and preservatives. Yay, America! Big Red. Wow, that is that is almost sweeter smelling than the cheer wine. It definitely has a, has a cherry scent to it, but man, it is a lot sweeter smelling than the cheer wine. Big Red. It's big. It's red. Taste it. That is a very... It's almost a sickeningly sweet flavor. It's a, it's a very sweet. It's kind of cherry. Kind of, uh, I don't know, it's a lot brighter than most cherry colas are. I guess the difference between the cheer wine and this is cheer wine is cherry and cola, kind of like a cherry Coke, or a wild cherry Pepsi, maybe. And, and Big Red is just cherry cola. It's like Sprite, but cherry, whole way through. And obviously, big and red. Getting all the, getting all the cherry things out of the way, because we've got some... Some weird ones coming up. Ouch. Not good with bottles. We go from cherry to grape. New grape. 
And you. Sure. New Grape, a flavor you can't forget. We won't let you! I'm sorry. New Grape Soda since 1921. So, what is that? Four years after Cheerwine? Sure. Another from the Orca Beverage Bottling Company. Huh. I believe that was the same company that did uh, Moxie. So, uh, alright. Carbonated water, cane sugar, citric acid, sodium benzoate as a preservative. Obviously, we've heard that before. <laughs> see, it pays to see a lot of these. You'll see running things like sodium benzoate. Oh, I'm glad they assured me. Contains no juice. This bottle opener is kinda crap. That's grape. Oh, wow. Now, I don't know if this is any different than Grapeco, as far as smell, because I'm so far removed from that video, it's been months. But, uh, that is a grape f <laughs> That is a grape scent. Or grape. I like grape drinks. They're fun. They're, they're just, they're tasty. And for grape drinks, that's super mild. It's a carbonated beverage, like a hint of grape in it. Not really super strong or super overpowering on the grape flavor. Uh, not bad. Not, not exactly what I was expecting, obviously. I'm expecting grape, and it's, and it's very mild in that flavoring area. Huh. So we've had our fruity beverage flavors. Now we're going to get into the weird root beers and cream sodas. First up, the original Dang That's Good Butterscotch Root Beer. <laughs> Caffeine-free and gluten-free. For those of you who worry about that. Okay. We're gonna try this. Uh -huh. Oh, man. It smells like somebody melted Werther's Originals and poured it into a Barks. <laughs> All the sugar. My head's gonna melt like... Belloc in Indiana Jones. Uh, anyway, root beer, butterscotch. Man, that is that is another sickeningly, like uber sweet smell. It's powerful. Here, here we go. It tastes like it smells. It tastes like you melted down butterscotch candies and just dropped them into an A and W. It's uh, it's root beer. It's butterscotch. Dang, that's good. I should do commercials. You thought we had enough real sugar before. <laughs> you don't know anything. Swamp Pop Praline Cream Soda. <laughs> Premium Sugarcane Soda. Praline. If he was an ice cream flavor, he'd be pralines and <laughs> Wayne's World. Anyone? You're all too young. I like how I anticipated the age of people watching this for not getting that reference. I know my audience, most of you actually get that. It's fine. Ugh. Everybody watching this usually is a friend of mine. Whatever. These are a laugh. <laughs> I'm losing my mind, kids. This is what's happening. I'm slowly but surely melting away. Swamp Pop, by the way, is the name of, of the soda. This is not an appetizing sound for, for a name, Swamp pop, and, and I don't know the correlation between pralines and swamps. Whatever. Made with pure Louisiana cane sugar, GMO-free, and caffeine-free. So there's like a whole paragraph here on the back of the bottle, and I'm going to read it for you because content. Bell's pralines, Bell's pralines, went the refrain of the pralinaires in the early 19th century French quarter of New Orleans as they steadily fanned their delicate candies with palmetto leaves to protect them from the sifting Louisiana heat. That is a huge sentence. And also, Pralinières. Never been in New Orleans. All right. Swamp Pop Praline Cream Soda combines the warm brown sugar, toasty butter, and pecan flavors of this Creole confection with a traditional cream soda recipe to create a whole new delicious way to beat the Louisiana heat. No palmetto leaves required. Ooh, cheeky. That may have you shouting, Bell's Praline Cream Soda, drinkswamppop.com. So evidently, 
Bell's pralines are the one they've used. Nothing really out of the ordinary in the ingredients that we've not seen. Carbonated water, cane sugar, natural flavors, caramel color, uh, sodium benzoate, potassium sorbate, and quillage extract for that real praline flavor. We're gonna try it. I'm shredding my hands. Ha! Wow, that is a, a toasty scent. It is, a, it is a toasty butter aroma. Huh, not really getting a, 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 a scent off of like toasted nuts or anything, but I'm definitely smelling a butter and, 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 a, and a roasted aroma. Maybe a little brown sugar scent. All right, here we go. It's a very buttery cream soda. Just a hint of praline, hint of brown sugar. It's not overpowering on the praline or brown sugar flavors. It is overpowering on the toasted butter flavor. That is toasty butter, not toasted. You melted a stick of butter and brown sugar into your nut soda. I'm not saying anything else other than that, because that's weird enough. Not bad. And finally, from the Durango Soda Company Incorporated, Zuberfizz Chocolate Cream Soda. Twist this! From the Classic Draft Soda. Man, this is, a, this is a stout little bottle here. Crafted and bottled by Durango Soda Company in Durango, Colorado. www.zuberfizz.com Zuberfizz! Sure, let's make up words now. Like new grape. There's another, another soda with a paragraph on the back of the bottle. Quality over quantity since 2002. 2002? This is only 15 years old as, as a company? Sure. Alright, cool. We take pride in the manufacturing process, ingredients, and packaging we use at Durango Soda Company, Inc. Each batch is handcrafted in small quantities with fresh Rocky Mountain water from the San Juans. We choose to use pure cane sugar rather than high fructose corn syrup and avoid harsh chemicals. So, no sodium benzoate? I don't know what I'm going to do. Our finished product is then transferred to glass bottles, a superior container to aluminum or plastic for taste, your health, and the environment. So twist one off and drink it down. It's the real deal. Twist one off. This is a family program, but they mean the cat, so it's fine. Yeah, no, 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 sodium benzoate. Ha ha ha, ha ha, it's fine. But yeah, all of these, pure cane sugar. I didn't realize that when picking these out, I picked out the flavors that look weird, because it's my job now, apparently. Let's twist one off! <laughs> like the skin off my hand! Okay, here's something that's never happened before. I can smell this without putting it up to my nose. This waft of chocolate blew out of this tiny-ass bottle and hit me in the face after I twisted one off. Now the chocolate hazelnut soda I had from Cicero a couple weeks back, that was a strong chocolate smell, but it was a mild chocolate flavor. This is a super strong chocolate smell. It kicks you in the olfactory senses. There's no denying that that is a chocolate scent. It's like, it's like somebody took the cream soda and combined it with the Chocolate Sensations Axe body spray. But that's the smell. It's not the taste. We'll get there. That is just a super rich, rich chocolate, too. It's not like a milk chocolate. That's like, that's like a dark chocolate smell. It's super rich. That's like a baker's chocolate. Oh, yeah. Needed the pure cane sugar for this one. All right, here we go. Man, that's super chocolatey. Okay, so that was super, super good, surprisingly. All of those were actually really super good. Um, I'm kind of surprised. Uh, I went in with no expectations for what any of those was going to taste like, and uh, I, I actually enjoyed all of them. And all of them seemed to have this uh, fascination with real sugar or cane sugar or, or what have you on there, and not a lot of uh, artificial preservatives. So that was also kind of nice to know. Man, the, the, the chocolate one was really surprising. All of them were really surprising. I don't think there was one I absolutely didn't like. That's the video. If you enjoyed this, please be sure to like, share, and of course, subscribe over here. If you want to see any of my other taste test videos, you can check them out here. And also, please consider supporting me on Patreon so I can make more videos like this, music videos, and other stuff. Thanks very much, and we'll see you next time. I'm not waving. This is the sugar shakes.
Yeah. <sighs>